is Booker T. I want nothing to do with you. See you, bye. Okay, so you don't want to face me here tonight, but what do you want to do? Do you want to play role games? Do you want to play role games? Do you want to play roles? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to pretend to be me? Tell me about this. What do you think Booker T would do if he came down here right now and stepped in this ring? <clears throat> Tell me you didn't just say that, sucker! <laughs> that was horrible. That was great. I don't need Booker T. I'll go higher than Booker T. Higher than Booker T. Higher than Booker T. So you go higher than the general manager of SmackDown. <laughs> Maybe you go to someone who is sounded a little bit like this. Excuse me! Excuse me! Honestly, fella, all saddlebags has enough to worry about to deal with your load of crap. I don't care what number I draw. I don't care who I eliminate. The fact is, I am going to win the 2012 Royal Rumble. Oh, wait a minute. Now we go have some fun. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, Hornswoggle. Booker T's best buddy, Hornswoggle. He's best in that good talk. I mean, you can say whatever you want to say now. I think they should take him to Times Square and drop him with the ball on his head. Look at this. It's a little fella who eliminated me at the Christmas Battle Royal. Don't tell me. You're going to enter the Royal Rumble, aren't you? You think because Daniel Bryan beat the big show that miracles happen every day, don't you? What's the matter with you? I thought you could talk. Tell me, who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble? Hornswoggle, 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 Hornswoggle. You know what, I actually admire your confidence in yourself. But as my great, great grand uncle, Finbar McSweeney once said in the Black Summer 1847, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you're begging for a kick up the arse. You're not the number one redhead on SmackDown. I am, not me. Would you look at it? I liked you better when you didn't speak. But then again, I didn't even like you then. <laughs> and the only reason you won that Christmas Battle Royal is because Seamus, he didn't want to squash a leprechaun. But I'm the one-man southern rock band, Heath Slater, and I don't have that problem. You know, fella, I've absolutely nothing against southern rock. I mean, I hear it's quite good, and, you know, fair play to you for spreading the word. But uh, I bet you see yourself as a journey type of guy, don't you? Huh? Journey? You know Journey, right? That had a huge, massive international song, remember? Yeah. Remember, remember what the, the, uh, Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. yeah, you know that song, don't you, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, I see you more as an R. Kelly type of guy. You know R. Kelly? Yeah, R. Kelly, you know. I believe I can fly. Whoa! Whoa! to go 
do it all by yourself. I do it all by myself because I can't depend on you. Oh, you tried to swing me last night. No. Admit no, it. No, you tried to swing me. No, but you, you tried to eliminate me from the Royal Rumble. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. The only reason I tried to eliminate you is because you tried to swing me and embarrass me. Aha, uh -huh, you admit it. You guys, did try guys, to eliminate guys, me. Guys, guys, no, guys, no, it's your face in my words. I know he's one of the most decorated athletes that we have. Hey. But I... Hey. Has anybody seen Shorty G? Anybody? Has anybody seen... Oh. There you are. Nice. You know, it's funny. I heard you squeaking from across the room. But I just couldn't see it. And there's an Irish saying that goes... Keep your breath to cool your porridge. Or I was gonna have to keep the head of yours off your shoulders one more time. Cody, what, what are you trying to say? Are you, are you trying to tell me that you would go, you would go all the way to the chairman of the board, a man who just had hip surgery from taking that ferocious F5, walk into his recovery room and demand a world heavyweight championship match? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, that is what I'm trying to say. Uh, do you have any idea what he'd say? Has that mustache actually soaked into your brain and diluted your mind? I know, and I'm pretty sure everybody here knows exactly what Vince McMahon would say, right? I will probably go a little bit something like this. Yeah! Fire! But I do have a statue to go rescue. So statue? If you would yes, my statue. statue. You're worried about a statue, huh? Do you realize how stupid you sound? Do you realize how stupid you look? Look, they think you look pretty stupid. I think you happen to look like Ronald McDonald with a bad haircut, but if you want- Oi! Don't you dare bring my family into this! What, what are you, what is your point, all right? What my you, point? Yes, what is your point? You wanna see what my point is? My point is right here. Yeah. Take a good look, Seth. Because I could make my point Tonight, I could make my point on SmackDown, or I could make my point at Night of Champions. Because, said boy, if you somehow miraculously win both your matches, <laughs> and quite possibly, you'll have a third against me. So a friendly reminder from Sheamus, the Seth Rollins Night of Champion nightmare just got worse. And he's come to the conclusion too that we, his brothers in arms, are not the enemy. Isn't that right, Butchie, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. The enemy is who? 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 <laughs> New Day! See, Meg, there's no trouble in this paradise, you know what I'm saying? And all you and everybody, hang on a second, all you and everybody need to know is that one second, that every night is what? We've lost Butch. What? How, how could you lose Butch? He's not a set of bleeding car keys, is he? We've lost Butch. And I just want to say, I know you guys got to get back to the retirement home. So let's just do a little photo op 
before we uh, say goodnight on SmackDown. I was, I was only kidding, guys. Take I was only kidding. Please I get the hell, hell out of here. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I was just kidding. I love you guys. Oh, yes, you guys you are legends. I know how much. Right? I'll show you how much we how love much? you. Man, I wish they would have made a wishbone out of that sucker, man. No, that is certainly a feel good night. For our WWE Hall of Famers. And legends here tonight, we thank you for joining us on Super Smackdown Live. It has certainly been a blast from the past. I just want to give you this. Potato. Yeah, potato. I know you Irish folk love the potatoes, so it's it's kind of a peace offering, you know? <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. Us Irish love our potatoes. It's all we eat, you know? Excellent, excellent. Listen, hey. Isn't from Ireland? It's from Idaho. I can't stand the ground that fella walks on. But hey bro, I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever seen the Loch Ness Monster? Or has Drew ever been to your house in Ireland? Are leprechauns real? Hey. If you could make a wish, what would you wish for? Stop! What Whoa. are you doing? Harsh. What are you doing? I just wanted to ask a question, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Go for it. Is that easy to write? Bro, super easy, dude. I just greased up the wheels, oh, man. Yes. It's super fast. Really? The brakes are a little dodgy, you know? Okay. But, dude, you're going to have to right. sacrifice, you know, stopping for speed. You know what so, I'm saying? So, what a story. You just put one foot on it there? One like foot on, push, you'll be flying easy? in the wind, bro. Oh, wait, I thought these things were really hard to roll. Nah, dude, you got it. You're a natural, bro. And you just greased up the wheels, Just yeah? greased them yeah. up so it's super fast. Oh! 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 <laughs> Around. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think they're dancing. <laughs> Would you ride horses at Wee Buttock High School? <laughs> yes, I've ridden a lot of horses in my life. Dated a few. <laughs> uh -oh, wait a minute. No, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was kidding by Seamus. We are going to have a tea party. Now we have green tea, we have ginger tea. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but we also have an autographed picture of Mr. T. You know what, Santino? I think I got you all wrong. I mean, you're not a bad fella. I think you're just misunderstood. You see? You know, it's funny. I knew a fella just like you back home in Ireland. And just like you, he only had one friend. And that friend was a donkey. Oh, lucky. Funny thing about this fellow was, well, he was, well, let's just say everyone in the town called him the village idiot. You see that? That bothers me so much. How could these people call a donkey the village idiot? It's a donkey. You know, maybe these people should lower their expectations from a donkey. <laughs> Anyway, you know what? I think it's time for some tea. Kozlov's the best Now, <laughs> do you take your tea dark or milky? Oh. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, no, no. I'm not, I am not trying to be smart at all. Apologize. I'm not referring when I say milky to the fact that you have no pigmentation. I'm not. No, no, people, you're not helping. Um, don't make him anger, please. I don't like it when he's anger. You know what? Um, speaking of anger, Seamus, you must admit you have some rage and anger inside you. And I did some research studying some psychology. 
And I found out that there's only one of two reasons why you could have such rage inside you. The first reason is that you have been overexposed to gamma rays. <laughs> the second reason is that probably when you were growing up, you were excluded from activities with the other kids because you're a ginger. <laughs> no. I, uh, I'm not... Oh, you're very generous people, but you're not really helping me right now. Um, I'm not that person, Shemos. I'm not going to exclude you from activities and fun. Look, I invited you to my party. This is our party. It's not just your party. I'm not gonna treat you like you're a ghost. Oh. No. Come on, that's not funny. Everyone go knows that ghosts are not this white. Come on. No, 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 no. You're a very funny fella, aren't you, Santino, huh? Oh. I'll tell you what, you and me laughing so hard. I forget why I hate you in the first place. Exactly. I think that you and I have the potential to get along famously, Shamos. You know? I can't remember why you hate me either. Seamus hates you because you beat him. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Um, yes, you did. You beat Seamus. It was the biggest upset in WWE history. Thank you very much, Kozlov. Your memory is so good. <laughs> A Kozlov chant! Oh, oh um, my! Only in the United you know Kingdom. What? Take a good look! Take a good look! Everybody drink it in! Especially because I'm sure you'll all agree that this just looks so much better on me! It does! Yeah. He's right! Yeah. That move. That move. There it is. Oh, you got the hips. Yeah, got the, hips. the hips don't lie, baby. Roman Reigns, I owe you so much. I really do. Because if you weren't there down on your knees, savoring the moment, enjoying every minute, realizing, realizing you had achieved your life a dream, you would have seen me coming. <laughs> Off after five minutes and 15 seconds. 15 seconds? 15 seconds! 15 seconds! Five minutes and 15 seconds! Five minutes and 15 seconds! He was a champion! Roman Reigns' world championship run can only be measured by a microscope. So all of you, you can forget about your Austin 316, because Seamus 515 says, I just kicked your ass! And now the celebration continues for the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Seamus 515, a new era has been born. Point. Oh, are you okay? Well played, speed right there. Just right. You use that just to get your opponent. Oh, oh, wait a minute. The killer cutter has rolled up the what official. Is he? What is and he doing? Sheamus thinking? has counted the three. It is no, not no, official no, at all, no, but my cousin. No, 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 I'm the look, look, look. I'm the referee. What are you doing? I'm the referee. He, oh my God. <laughs> has had enough funny games this morning and has put away Michael McGillicuddy. Funny games is right. Here's your... The top rope cover on Kingston and a kick out. So you should always come prepared when you come to the WWE Live event. You always have great snacks. 
Noise refreshments. And you know what I'm saying? You sit back and you enjoy the greatest you enjoy the greatest show on television, Monday Night Raw. There is no better show. New Day, hoping to defend their tag team titles against. Who said that? Look at Henya. Look like Mighty Mouse. Leading Henya there. Come on, Cesaro! It's typical Seamus. You know, it's a major ego problem with Seamus. And I guess Cesaro as well is part of that tag team. Not doing so well, me tag team right there. Not doing so, but this popcorn is lovely. And Kobe went for trouble in paradise. Cesaro was able to duck oh. the And there's the running up. Oh. Cesaro with oh. the cover kick out again. I'm out of it. I'm out. You hurry up, I'm almost running out of popcorn here. Let me ask you guys a serious question. Look at this, look at how you hit these live events. They're terrible. Look at this thing that's bleeding thing here, look. It's super bleeding trombone, you know what I'm saying? It's super bleeding. Well, Seamus and Xavier Woods into it outside. And now Big E gets involved. I guess the Facebook Live session is over. And Kofi takes the ball and up Cesaro hooks the leg. Congratulations, Live. That was very impressive. Now, tonight I know you said you only wanted two competitors. But how about a Mark? How about one more? Come on, Mark. What's wrong with you? You're the world's strongest man. You're not afraid, are you? You're afraid? Is that what it is? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's get it on, lads. Oh, boy. Oh, the, hey, hey, he's hey. got the world's strongest man moving a bit here. Oh, Mark Henry pulling hard. Henry, though, the world's strongest man. Sheamus is teetering toward that line. Foot's got to go completely over. Body's got to go completely over that line Look here. Look at this grip now by Mark Henry. Sheamus gonna... literally towing the line. It's like the old Battle of the Network stars. Yeah, and you're Captain Lee Crosby. Can Mark Henry pull Sheamus? Oh, there it is. Oh! oh! <laughs> Seamus let go! Seamus let go! Oh, no. Seamus let go of too. Mark Henry lost his balance, but Seamus let go! I believe that breaks every international world tug of war right there. How embarrassing for Mark Henry! I don't think it matters. Mark Henry, a broke kick, a little bit of retribution for Seamus here tonight on Raw. Usually you add insult to injury, but that was the first came the insult, then the injury.